viewers of my blog TV show know that all this equipment draws quite a bit of electricity out of the outlet. In fact, for quite a while, I've been running it off this heavy 12-gauge extension cord. The problem is, all this draws so much electricity, and combined with the other stuff I have down in the basement, about every other time I plug it in, it would trip that circuit breaker, which is the one on the right with the red button. It's a GFI breaker. Well, viewers are shown last week, noticed this outlet here and well today since I had Labor Day off I spent the day inhaling sawdust and fiberglass insulation you'll see let's get the light on there's a junction box there got caught onto it coming down to the outlet and then up above the rafters where Romex is okay. While I was at it, I went ahead and ran a line into this junction box right here. This is a new junction box and there's nothing coming out of it. The wires are just simply capped off. That's for future expansion. Trying to think of a head here. And then the comes out of the, the junction box you just saw under the steps into this new junction box right here now we're coming from the breaker panel off to the blog TV outlet and then to that out and to an outdoor outlet that was previously on its own breaker I replaced all the wiring with a uh, new 12 2 with ground Romex the the outdoor outlet previously had 12 2 but the ground wire was like 16 gauge or something it was obscenely thin so I went ahead and replaced it. I installed this brand new 20 amp uh, GFCI breaker. So the outdoor outlet is now a regular outlet. So that way if I wear it out, it's a 60 cent outlet. Instead of uh, about over 10 times that for a new GFI. And yes, I need to get the cover back on the uh, box here, but Anyway, um, another project I need to do that's long overdue, I need to remove this double 30 and replace it with two 15s. The, uh, what's on this breaker is among the worst wiring in the house, and it has no business being on that 30 amp breaker. One of these, I do intend to do that pretty, as soon as I, it's something I've needed to do for a long time. And it's one of those things I may just go down to the friendly neighborhood hardware store, pick up a 15 amp breaker since I've got an extra one now after uh, removing, you know, this one was right here. And just buy another 15 and then get this proper and then I will feel a whole lot better about the wiring in this house. So like I said, what's right here on this right here is among the oldest and the worst wiring in the house. So anyway, this basement is a disaster area that I am very much intending to clean up. Oh, we did have one casualty. While I was drilling these holes, uh, the drill caught on something. Caught on the wires and yanked them right out of my little camera right here. So, ah, oh, bummer. So... Next time I have some spare cash, I'll have to either buy some more cheapy Chinese uh, security cameras or I get, might just try and fix this. I don't know yet. But that's a, I've got other, too many other projects I need to worry about. And then I can just uh, take care of it. Or I might even find me a little nicer camera to put up there. So that's... The new electrical for the blog TV setup, and yes, I am way overdue on doing a uh, video on my blog TV setup. A lot has changed with it since the last video. In fact, I think I even taken that first video down. Uh, oh, and here's one of two bottles of this stuff that I drank. So I'm gonna be wired tonight. All right, everybody. Have a good day, and you know, there's a stack of CDs I need to get ripped.